Okay, so the first thing I do is I go to file, I bring my file in, I pre-process the file, and then I preview it, make sure my bit's in that lower left corner, and that's the right part, and then... Taking our triangle peg game out of the CNC router, you could, as you look through there, you can see the tabs that are left. Don't just break it out because that'll peel the tab off the back. You really want to use an X-Acto knife and trim these tabs down. Knife's always going away from you. So now that the part's out, gently sand the edges, gently sand those tabs off. Actually, I'm going to drill through this hole and put a little screw in there so it could pivot on that point. So I always want to use a pilot hole. I'm going to drill it, line it up, make sure it's lined up. Drill there. One little screw. The head is smaller than the quarter inch hole. I'll screw that in here. Then I'm going to screw it all the way down to the bottom of the hole. So there it is. The screw goes through the hole into the next one, so it'll turn. There's a pocket for all my quarter inch dowels. Close it up. If I don't want it to you know, if I'm going to travel with it, I could just keep one of these dowels in place there and push it in and it's nice and sealed, ready to play. I pull that dowel out, pull all my dowels out, and I'm ready to play. Okay, you're all done. These are quarter inch dowels. Uh, these are just colored to give it a little style. The colors don't mean anything. You set it up however you want with one peg with no dowel in it. And the way you play the game is you jump pegs and remove them with the goal being remove as many pegs as you can. So I keep jumping. Every time I jump, I remove a peg. I continuously think about you know, where my remaining pegs are gonna be. And the goal is, if you could get it all the way down to one, um, you did great. If you could get it down to two, that's okay. And if you get it down to three, that's about the worst. Oh, I guess five would be the worst. <laughs>